Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Alright guys, this video is about my DIY pinhole camera. And the interesting thing is that this is a hack from a $2 wooden box that I got from Daiso. Daiso is a chain store that originates from Japan. In Japan, they are known as a uh, 100 yen shops because uh, almost all the items inside the shops are 100 yen. In Singapore, they sell most of their items for $2, so sometimes we call them the $2 shop. I actually made a video about the Daiso shops in Singapore and uh, what are some of the items that you can use for photography. If you have not watched the video yet, please click on the link on the top right hand corner. These wooden boxes uh, rice measuring uh, cups okay so they come in different sizes and there are some uh, Japanese character here that denotes what's the capacity so I found that this one this bigger one is perfect for making a 4 5 camera let me give you the dimension of this box it measure about 6.5 inches or 16.5 cm um, square so it's a square box here and the height itself is 90mm or 3.5 inches tall right so this is perfect for 4x5 so the hack to turn this into a 4x5 pinhole camera is actually very straightforward um, the box is done for us what I have done or add is these two strips of wood along the side and the width is here will actually fit in a 4x5 holder nicely and I added a third piece of wood along this side this is because when the films uh, sit here there will be more support for this area and for the film holder you see they have a rip here right to prevent light leak uh, while this simple pinhole camera will, uh, does not have a slot for this to sit in, I think having this strip here will also help to prevent light leaks. Right, and so this is how I would load in the film holder. Just slide it in right, and ensure that at the back is sit on the side. Right. And I also have a two screw with a locking nut here that you can press it down where you can turn it down to lock in the firm holder right this will make sure that the firm holder doesn't drop okay. and you can see that the side is sit nicely the front is also sit nicely right so this is the aperture, I'm not sure you can see but there's a small pinhole here. I just use a needle and poke a hole through the brass piece here. Right. So your brass uh, piece must be, very, it must be very thin. You can get this from Art Friend in Singapore. Okay. Or you can even um, you know, cut a piece of a beer can or a soft drink can, the aluminium uh, soft, soft drink can. So what you can do to find out the aperture of the camera is to measure the diameter of this hole. And how do you do that? It's very simple. Just uh, scan this piece on your flatbed scanner and then bring it into Photoshop and enlarge it and put it against the Photoshop ruler. Then you will be able to find out the um, diameter of the hole. The aperture will be the um, focal length divided by the diameter of the hole and for this box the focal length is 90 mm so I divide it by the diameter of the hole which is 0.3 mm that will give me about 300 so it's about f300 drill a hole on this surface in the center and then just tape the brush onto the hole that will create the pinhole that we need here you can see the hole that I drill and the brush sheet which is just a paste on the other side for us to have the pinhole okay and because a pinhole camera usually need a long exposure 
So we need to have a tripod mount so that we can mount the whole camera on a tripod. So again, this is a tripod mount parts that I got from online platform from Taobao. Uh, simply drill a hole and screw it in. And lastly, I painted um, the interior of the pinhole camera all black using black acrylic paint and also the seams I actually use black tape to cover them up just to prevent light leak so after building uh, the best way is to test it with a test shot and then see is there any light leak and from there you trace back where uh, the the cause of the light leak and then patch up from, from there right uh, again the best use are black tape So this morning I'm at the neighborhood park to take a few shots with my pinhole camera. So this is my pinhole camera and this is my film holder. I've loaded a Shanghai 4x5 film in this uh, film holder. There's uh, ISO 100. Let me set this up and we can start to take our first shot. So to load the film holder, it's very simple. Uh, just slide this through. Let's slide the foam holder through the side until the end of the foam holder sit on this side of the camera. Okay. And then what we can do is to just tighten down these two screws. Right. And this will prevent the foam holder from dropping up. Okay. What we need to ensure is that the firm holder sit on the side of the box camera so that there won't be any light leak. So you can see there's a gap between the firm holder and the side of the camera. So this will definitely cause a light leak. So what we need to do is to make sure they sit properly and then tighten it down again. Okay. And this will be good. Alright, so my camera is now set up to take the view of the garden. So the focal length of this box camera is 90mm. So for a 4-5 uh, camera, 90mm is still considered quite a wide angle view. It's about the equivalent of 30 plus mm on the 35mm format. So there's no viewfinder on my camera, so I'm just going to estimate or guesstimate how the view will be like and then take a shot. So I choose to use a simple way to calculate my pinhole camera. I just go to this website mrpinhole.com look for the pinhole exposure guide on the left hand side and um, key in the aperture of my pinhole camera which is uh, F300 so I just need to key in 300 and click on the button generate chart so what this page do is that it will generate a table for you right and what you need to do with uh, there's good instruction given below um, what you need to do is to set your light meter to the firm ISO that you're using but if you don't have a light meter, you can use a film camera or digital camera that has a light meter built in. But set it to the same ISO as your film they are using for your pinhole camera. And then take a uh, reading of the scene. And uh, you just need to uh, locate the line that your reading is on. And then read across to the right hand column for your exposure time on your pinhole camera. Just remember that you will need to add time for reciprocal failure, especially when the uh, exposure time is very long. So for example, if I use my light meter and I measure that the scene required 1 over 60 at f16, I just scroll to the right and find that I actually need 6 seconds at for f300. So I will expose for uh, 6 seconds for my pinhole camera. Right, very simple to use so what I usually do is to just store this uh, table uh, on my handphone and pull it up when I need it expose um, I will just pull out the dark slide on this end okay 
all the way out and then just to prevent any light leak I will just uh, flip it to the other side and quickly insert it in back just slightly so that it won't drop off but it will prevent any light leak that go into the uh, dark slide slot It's a very nice garden with the up bridges People are taking their morning walk here and this spot is more in the light so I expect a faster uh, shutter speed let's take a measurement okay so for this second shot I have just take a measurement the final exposure time on this pinhole camera at f300 will be 11 seconds so I'm going to take this second shot Okay, this is my third scene. So it's a noisy because we are right across the uh, uh, highway. Uh, this scene may be a bit challenging. You see, can see the half of it is in shadow, the other half in uh, highlights. But let's see what we can do. Okay, this is the final scene. It's just uh, behind some uh, shop houses in Topayo. Thought the light is pretty good. The sky is quite blue. It's a hot day today and there are some strong shadows being formed so let's try to take a shot and see how it will turn out Hi guys, we have come to the end of this video. Please like it, share it, and finally do subscribe to my channel and I see you at my next video. Take care. Bye.